In the writing world, there's this saying that um, you've probably heard, which is write what you know. Um, and I'm going to use that idea um, as we start these these creative videos because I think that um, starting with what you know is always a good thing. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to introduce you to one of my most favorite forms of creativity, which is mixed media art. And um, what mixed media art is pretty much what it sounds like. You use like pretty much any form of artistic medium that you can think of to create art and you combine them together. Um, like for example, say you wanted to use collage and watercolor, that's mixed media, or you wanted to use modeling clay and acrylic and paper mache as well. I mean, all kinds of things. You wanted to use metal working, whatever, and combine it with sculpting. Um, so really, the reason why I love mixed media art so much is because the possibilities are endless. And also, um, there's this great kind of freedom to it where, um, where perfection is almost like not cool in mixed media is what it feels like to me. And I am not a perfect kind of artist. I, I don't like things that are super symmetrical or super perfect. I'm a mixed media folk artist and folk art is a perfect description of the kind of art I like. There's this beautiful imperfection in it. Um, and I, I find that same sort of element of imperfection in in mixed media art. Um, so I wanted to start out by introducing you to some of my most favorite mixed media artists, um, starting with the lovely and wonderful Jane Davenport. Jane Davenport is one of the mixed media artists who I first discovered. This is actually, this book is how I discovered her. I came across it in um, in Joanne's fabric one day when I was just like in that place where I was just desperately looking for something to fill uh, the role of writing in my life. And I saw this book and I just was like so drawn to it. And um, it's because it's gorgeous. She just has the most gorgeous style. Um, but I, I, I went through her book and then I, and I started drawing, like practicing her faces and just all this. I mean, she just does gorgeous stuff. But, um, after I had gone through a book, I found all of her YouTube videos um, where she was demonstrating and reviewing products and just fell in love with her personality. Guys, she's fantastic. I will put a link to her website down below because you guys have to meet her. She's just amazing. And she's actually doing so incredible right now. She um, recently released her own uh, mixed media art line and um, she has courses on her website. So if you are after I kind of demonstrate mixed media art a little bit more to you, if you're still interested in learning more about this and this is speaking to you as being your own creative way, I highly recommend looking her up because she just makes art so joyful. Um, another one of her books is this lovely one. This is one of her most recent ones, uh, Fabulous Figures. And she has such an awesome way of teaching how to draw figures because it's a little tricky, especially if you're just starting out. I highly recommend her books. I highly recommend her art. I highly recommend her personality because it's fabulous. So Jane Davenport, one of my all time favorite mixed media artists. Um, another uh, artist that I love is Susie Blue. She does these cute mixed media girls and um, they're just like, this is what I'm talking about. This lovely kind of imperfect folk art look. I just love it. Um, I came across her book, I believe I, I probably found it in a store as well, or maybe I ordered it online, I can't remember, but um, it's just got that same sort of lovely feel to it that I love, and the texture is just gorgeous. Um, she kind of introduced me to this idea of encaustic art, which is um, using wax, beeswax, um, to kind of seal over and give it sort of this milky sheen that you see on her face, which is just lovely. But it's fun to play with and it's fun to kind of use it and, and, and learn that technique. She also employs modeling paste, which is, you see you're using it over here with the spatula and the her little stencil art. And this book is really cool because it comes with a DVD, which I don't know where mine went, but where she kind of walks you through um, art pieces and teaches you how to do mixed media art. So Mixed Media Girls by Susie Blue. All of these links to all of these books will be on my website or you can find them all in one place. HannyClark.com. That link is down below. Um, the next one that I really loved is this um, 
mixed media painting techniques for figures and faces. It's Imaginary Characters by Karen O'Brien. And I just love this quirkiness. She just has this fun, quirky um, style that's, that's, again, that same kind of folky feel to it. Um, and she employs some more delicate mediums like watercolor and gesso and, uh, let's see, just, just all kinds of fun step-by-step -step tutorials of her like little unique kind of quirky little fairy characters. Anyway, loved this book, so fun. Um, she's, let's see if I can find you another one that I just, oh, she also uses like collage with picture art and she'll create them into these fun little characters. So that's another thing that you can use. You can use uh, magazines and all kinds of things to create mixed media art. It's just so much freedom, I love it. So there's that one. Um, another one that I love is this uh, Creative Girl Mixed Media Techniques for an Artful Life by Danielle Donaldson. And hers, she also is, uh, is a lot like Karen O'Brien where she employs kind of the softer kind of mixed media techniques. Um, and they're just like the stencils and everything is for, to create pretty backgrounds and all sorts of stuff. So that one is a lovely one as well. This, this book right here is just simply on this idea of encaustic art. And what encaustic art is, is you're using wax and whatnot and, and other pieces of things. Like these little, like, I don't know if you can see these little, these are little squares of paper that are just kind of glued down and then they're sealed over with wax. That's a really fun technique. Um, you can also do plaster. You can do right here, they've got some gold leafing going on. If you like more kind of, um, modern art, modern looking art. This is a neat book. So it's in the Encaustic Studio by Danielle Wolf. Um, cool. So book. those are some of the books that I really love by artists, uh, mixed media artists. Um, a few of the other ones and I will put these mixed media artist uh, Instagram handles down below um, because you just have to see their art. It's gorgeous. Um, the first is Maria Pace Winters. Uh, she is she just does gorgeous mixed media art and so much of it includes the faces of her daughters in it and I just think that it's just so beautiful how she puts it all together. Um, the other one is Annie Hammond who is a teacher in um, South Africa. Gorgeous stuff. Um, Karen Deerland is another one. Um, Mindy Lacefield and then Juliet Crane. These are some of my most favorite mixed media artists that I follow on Instagram. So that is a pretty brief introduction to mixed media art, um, but hopefully I've given you enough um, material to go and explore for yourself uh, um, to see what other artists are doing. I'm gonna show you in the next two videos what I do as a mixed media folk artist. Um, and then hopefully if it speaks to you, then you'll be able to have enough material to go and start exploring on your own. I'm gonna show you guys next how to create mixed media folk art um, in the style of Hanny Clark. <laughs> and then um, I've got a few cool products to review that um, I especially love to use in my mixed media folk art. So we will see you in the next video.